I think there was like four women in chemical engineering in my class, maybe, if I remember correctly. So I was one of few. Um, I graduated and I went into the chemical industry and I worked in plant environments. So manufacturing plants, I wore a hard hat for six years. Um, I was the only woman engineer in most of the facilities that I worked in. In one facility, I was the only woman, the first and only woman supervisor of hourly shift work employees and, and shift foremen and the like. So it was pretty much a trailblazing experience. Um, not easy at times, but I'll tell you what you learn a lot. An engineering or STEM background gives you a foundation that you can do just about anything with. You can be a doctor, you can be a lawyer, you could run a business like I do. Um, so it just gives you an unlimited amount of potential as you move through your future. I absolutely have felt challenged, right? Challenged with whether what I'm doing is, is what I really should be doing, that question, or uh, challenged with um, you know, making some of those, solving the puzzles, go back to the puzzles, right? Chall uh, solving the puzzles. What I found during those moments, what was most valuable to me is to have someone to talk to about it, right? Have a mentor who you can can sit with and, and talk about, well, I, I really don't know. This is what I'm experiencing. What have you seen? Are, are there any other resources that you could connect me with who may have experienced the same thing? I have found in my life that, you know, cultivating a, a network of women, colleagues, friends, associates <coughs> is probably the most helpful thing for my career that I've ever experienced because there is something very special about the circle of women coming together and saying it's we're all in this together and here's what i learn and here's what i learn and sharing and collaborating are skills that are often particularly comfortable and part of kind of the culture of being a woman in our society don't be afraid to change directions uh because you know in high school, finishing high school, um, I don't think it's realistic to expect that you're going to know what direction your career is going to take into the future. And those first few years in college should be where you can explore and explore different paths, different disciplines, different avenues, and don't be afraid to do that. Stay confident. I, think, I love uh, it. I had it more when I was younger, I think. And I'd like to have a little so bit hang of hang on to now. that confidence. It's very easy to say hindsight. In hindsight, I should have. In hindsight, I should have. Well, <laughs> hindsight's 2020. So at the point in time, you just have to make sure that you're you are making the correct deci decision with all of the variables and the inputs that are important to you. Um, and, and I don't know that you, you can know that it's the thing for you because of everything that we've talked about, you know, enjoying your work. If you think about the, uh, the basics of what you're doing, the day to day, like Dr. J talked about, I mean, for me, a lot of times it's meetings or I'm in a spreadsheet or I'm doing, that doesn't sound fun at all. Um, so, you know, <laughs> going through that, you, you, that's not the way you, sometimes you just kind of have to take a little bit of a leap of faith. Now I'm a lot better that when people start to interrupt me, I interrupt back and say, I'm not finished yet. Like, yeah, good for you. And That's really until, hard. <laughs> until I'm done talking. So I, I try to not do it rudely, but it's more just, no, I want to hear what you're thinking, but I haven't finished my thought yet. I might answer your question in the process. And that's something that it was only through, you know, experience and feeling my heart start to beat really fast as like, I'm thinking about interrupting back that I've just gotten used to it over time.